Hey Rumi, so I went baby shopping at the biggest market to buy baby things in Nigeria and I thought to take you guys along. So this market is called Dosumu Market, in case you don't know, it is at the Lagos Island Market and it's a place called Dosumu, if you go to Eko Idumota and that's where you find this market. So there are all sellers everywhere around and um, you need to be careful though because there are people that claim to be wholesalers that are not wholesalers but there are wholesalers everywhere around and you can find most of these baby things cheaper than you find them online considering the fact that i wanted to buy a lot of things i had to come down to the market myself so yeah i'm going to be showing you guys the things i bought from the market in this video but i just thought to let you guys know the market i went to and then show you guys what it looks like going there yourself because it's high time we start doing stuff ourselves i was able to pick the things that i wanted and even save more by coming down to this market instead of ordering these things online i also had like varieties i didn't have to sit in one spot and buy everything i could walk from one shop to another i could pick between stuff like i didn't want this hanger i preferred this one i didn't want this sitting garment i preferred this one you know stuff like that instead of just ordering what you see online so yeah i was able to compare stuff i was able to go to another store to go check something else if i wasn't liking what i was seeing in this particular place and they all seem to um have um, a lot of imported stuff so it's not just nigerian things you find here they have imported stuff too that you can find and it's just quite convenient so um i hope you enjoy watching the video Still up in the streets on sign Still tryna get a million some peace of mind Free my dog Free all of my niggas I ain't seen in time Still up in the streets on sign Still tryna get a million some peace of mind Hey Rumi, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. My name is Miriam Rumi. If this is your first time on this channel, please don't make it your last time by clicking the subscribe button below. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So, in case you don't know, I'm currently about 38 weeks and over pregnant. And um, I just want to show you guys the things I got for my baby, considering she's a second child. And um, usually people don't buy much for second children because like you have a first child and you just do the hand me down but i've given out a lot of the things that i got for my son because he's over three years old and i honestly wasn't ready for another baby so i wasn't prepared so i literally had to buy some things a lot of things over again except you know the basic ones like bath and um, all these other things that you literally just have um i had to buy most of them over again because one this baby is a girl and two i've given them out so yeah let's start with this very cute little bag right here so i got this and i've not opened it if you know you know that most of the things that you buy from a koi do more type you do not order it online you you can't like open it in their store they don't let you open it so you're literally buying something blind and they can literally just tell you it's big or it's something that is inside and then you get to money something else that is inside but i've gotten this one for a while now and i've not opened them but yeah let's see what's inside so it has this cute headband i think there's two of it can you see them <laughs> two cute headbands uh, let me see what this is ah <laughs> you got an extremely cute bib um what's next okay so this is a pin on that one see so whatever you call this and the leggings imagine felicia all along there was black leggings yeah there's the leggings too and i was busy looking for black leggings in the market up and down that i bought one particular leggings we did we buy it that one that had the black did you buy it we bought that one that had the black no we dropped it we picked the pink ones i bought leggings that i did not need just because it had black in it. I only went as far as saying we won't find black leggings in the market just because she was trying to make us buy from her. So you guys, eh, first of all, let's talk about this. I spent, I really don't talk about price here, eh, but things are really expensive right now and I don't know what they want us to do. <laughs> I don't know what they want us to do, people that are having kids. It's not, it's not cheap to have kids. I bought this one for 4,500, right? So for 4,005, just because that's black leggings. Now I'm not realizing there was black leggings in this all along. It's so painful. But like, yeah, um, things are really expensive in the market right now. The first time I went to the market, I went with 200,000 naira. I don't know who I thought I was. 
I came, I, I left the market with one Ghana must go of empty things because I think all I bought was my hospital stuff and one last like little stuff. I'll, I'll put like pictures or something so you guys can see for 200k. So <laughs> the next time I was going to the market, I went prepared and I've spent literally over 500k on baby things, baby things. Ha. So I got this one. So this is this one comes in a set of five. One, two, three, four, five. It comes in a set of five. I feel like I'm too close to the camera. I personally do not like this type of colors, but I had to pick it because I'm not the only one that owns this baby. That's that's <laughs> that's what I realized. It's quite colorful. I can't remember how much we got this one for. So I got this one. It's extremely cute. <laughs> it comes with like a diaper pant, I know. And uh, how much did you buy it? So I can't remember the price of anything of us. Well, this was 6,000 naira. We got the receipt now. Do you the receipt? This was extremely cute. I had to pick it. Like, can you see? This, if I was going to go for color, yeah, it would be this type of color, not those ugly, ugly colors that they make you pick. I don't know if the baby's going to wear this too. But I thought it was cute too. So it came with a shirt. And uh, the color is just pretty unique. You guys, this, this, this is what 200,000 naira bought it. <laughs> I can't even shout. Before now I went to market what three days ago and I had to go and buy stuff again. This one is extremely cute. Although I'm a bit confused about the color. It looks as if let's see. Is it focusing? I don't know if it's focusing. But it has these tiny little green grains that make it look as if it's peeling color. But apart from that, it's like extremely cute too. It comes with the pants. I don't like maybe I'm doing too much because <laughs> I've been seeing people buying um one season and all for their babies and I just feel like I can buy everything at the same time. This one is nine months. I don't know how we bought it now, but we bought it sha. But we got this dress. This dress, it comes with the leggings. Leggings with it. Um, I think this one we bought it for naming ceremony or something. <laughs> I don't know. Because this is the only like dressy dress that we picked. So that's probably what we're going to use it for. But it's extremely cute. So nice to pick this one too. <laughs> they will not say at you. The voice is my video. I know you, I know you know that you're dragging your feet to my video. So because of the I can't walk. Walk? Are you pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> So next is this dress. Um, is it a dress? It's a dress. A dress that comes with a shirt. A top that comes with a shirt. It's shy giving slay queen because it has <laughs> it has slit at the front and the back is like the shirt is shorting and it came with like this um headband thingy that is also extremely cute. And I'm seeing cutters. I don't know if it's original cutters or Nigerian cutters, but I feel like these people buy stuff from online because most of the things we bought from that is they're actually imported. So they buy stuff online when they're on sales and they come and sell it to us for normal price but it's fine it's me that I'm not buy online by myself but this is actually cute too sha this is extremely cute it has a headband that it comes with you know a girl's dress so next is this one this one has a cap it's also extremely cute um next thing i feel like i would have loved it more without this thing because I feel like this thing just made it look, um, look out. You know, this bunny stuff just made it look like a cool clothes. But that stuff just made it look out. I've loved it more without it. But regardless, it's a nice um, two-piece with a hat. Oh, we got this one. It's extremely cute. The problem is that we've not opened most of these things though. And some might come extremely small and we know me. Okay, it's, it's, not, it's not small. So yeah, this is cute. This is not bad, this is cute. And it came with, came in a pack of three that is extremely cute. It's extremely cute is all I can say. I like the color and it's cotton, cotton. Like proper cotton. This one, they, made, they, they sold it so expensive, saying it's mama and papa's. They sold this one expensive. Was this something about this one? No, she insisted that she was not going to reduce the price of this one. The normal ones were seven five. This one, she said she was not going to reduce the price. That it was um, it was cutting. So yeah, it's extremely cute. You can even tell it's proper cutting from touching it. So next is this one. It's 
so this is also a pack of overall it comes in three and um three socks or is it four socks and um three handkerchief or what's it called face towel so it's just a pack of three i can't obviously show you guys everything i bought in the market but like i'm just showing you um one of each something like that it is also cutters let me see it's cutting it's just unfortunate i can tell it's cutting Let's open one. So yeah, it is a pack of three. It's also cutters and the quality looks nice. It seems very nice. This one is newborn. <laughs> it's extremely small. It's extremely small. It's definitely newborn. It's extremely soft as well. You see, I told you, cutters are not true to size. All the things I bought for Jesse. All the things I bought for... This is nine months. Nine months, I think I enjoy Some of their babies come out big. This is nine months and it's this small. Cutters are not true to size. They are not true to size. I keep saying it. So it comes with socks as well. A pack of four socks. Hey! <laughs> Is it four socks? <laughs> A pack of four socks and then three face towels or easy handkerchief. But I like this one, Sha. Just say I had this one. Cutters kids are not true to size. So I think I've showed you guys enough clothes. Pack of socks. What am I calling you yesterday? These socks I just had to pick. It is so gorgeous. Like, so gorgeous. It comes with socks and then ribbon. I don't know, baby girl things, ribbon, 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 ribbon. But like, that's how it is. It comes with socks and ribbon and it's extremely cute. And the problem is I actually now went ahead and bought socks. You know those shoe socks already that I got a lot of. Before I now realized that I had too many socks. So she's going to be changing socks like daily. These are like a lot. So this is socks I'm talking about, the shoe socks. There's like about 15 or 20 of this. There. Check now. <laughs> There's about 15 or 20 of these and it's a lot. Like a whole lot. I kept picking socks and all. And then I know, shoe socks and all. I now realize that I had it in excess. Like plus this one, this is just the next set. Okay. I actually want to see these blankets because they were arguing with me that it was big. And the problem is that they won't let you open it. They'll tell you it came sealed, so you can't open it. And if it's not big, I'll be pained because I wanted a big blanket. Let's see. Hmm. The young guy is not even living. Where did they see this thing? Like, hey, sure. I'm not surprised if it's small. I'm not surprised if it's just thick inside. It's small. It's just thick inside. See. It's small. I told you to be small. They call it baby size. It See, this all it's just this size. And then they'll be telling you it's big, but the problem is you won't actually know if it's extremely big or not because it's thick. It's extremely thick and cute, so it looks puffy and then it looks big. They tell you it's big, it's big, it's big. But like, anyways, there's this very cute blanket. I can see her wearing it. The um, what's it called? The pink, the very first one I showed you guys. There's the pink stuff, they're looking really cute together. So, for it from there, the little and loved. So, so, this is the show. When I was picking it, I told them I wanted a big show. They told me it was a big show and it was expensive, it was quite pricey. And then, what did I get at the end of the day? It's a small show, it's just a small show. But the thing is. So she's gonna have two shows that are white because Jesse's show was this color too. And Jesse's one is still in existence because he barely used it. So like the thing is, most of the time when you're buying stuff for your second child, you don't need to buy all of this. People don't buy this. They don't buy this blanket, shawls. Some people don't even buy this um, overalls because they already have from their previous kids. But like I said, I gave out the ones for Jesse and the ones I didn't give out, I just disposed of them. So now, I had to buy everything over again. That's why I had to spend as much as I did, if you understand what I mean. But normally, as you're having a second child, you don't need flannels, you don't need shawls, blankets. Maybe if you want to buy, you buy one of those, I know, on like buying lots of them. You don't need most of them because you already have it. But like, yeah, I'm buying them over again. So next is this baby Udet doll. This is just so gorgeous. I didn't care if it was in blue. Or any color i have to keep it because like it's so fine it comes in a pack of three 
they won't let you open it as usual. I don't even want to unbox it. I don't want to I don't want to unravel this. It looks it looks extremely gorgeous. Can I just move it without touching it? When will I not still touch it? <laughs> but look at this. I'm going to take one of these to the hospital. The next video I'm going to be doing is going to be my what's in the hospital bag. What's in my hospital bag? And you'll be seeing this definitely. This is going to the hospital. Because this is like extremely cute. Let me try it. <laughs> but like this is extremely cute. It's as small as I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be very small. I thought it was just going to wrap around the baby once. It's as small as I thought it would be. The funny thing is I kept telling I kept telling her it was going to be small because I could I've gotten these things before. I know the scam. See, if possible, yeah, when you see stuff like this, you know it's going to be small. They'll be arguing with you and telling you it's big, it's big, it's big. And it's so painful when you come back home. And see now, I don't have one single big blanket. One single big blanket I don't have because all the blankets I got and the shawl and everything, small sizes. And they, they look big, they look very extremely puffy. And they're going to assure you it's big and then you can't unwrap it. Then turns out they're extremely small. The next thing I got is this towel. It also comes in three and then they told me there's the small size, the medium size and the big size that even me I can use the big size that's how big it is. So let me see how big the big size actually is. I'm going for the big size first. This, this is what that woman said I can use. <laughs> this is what she said I can use. But like this, this towel is actually so cool. If it was bigger than this I would use it as baby's blanket. I swear, it's so cute. What? So this is the small one, and this is the medium. The same size, though. The medium and the small bar. Let's see. Is this, is this, is this the medium and the small, they are the same size. Though. <laughs> the medium and the small are the same size. So this one is supposed to be like a face to well size or whatever. I will pay me the most is the fact that what is more expensive than it actually is in the market from that time that first time we went to the market the lady told me towel was eleven thousand. i could remember clearly that that lady said towel was eleven thousand naira. so when we got to this one today i'm like the towel is um, when we got there the first time i'm like towel is 11k and she was arguing i didn't want to pick it but i didn't just want to look like i'm being extra and the color the color is extreme it's just my it's my it's this champagne Ah, oh, the color is very gorgeous, yeah. That's why I picked it. I knew that the lady was adding price to the size, them, the price of the two. And she kept saying she was selling all sales. So you couldn't negotiate her stuff. We didn't negotiate shit. Everything, the prices she called. In fact, she didn't even want to say it was as bad as she just bought out buyer and this thing. And she was just writing everything down. Instead of her to actually let us negotiate, she was writing the receipts straight up. She said it was non negotiable. And then she sold us to her expensive. And to now add to it, she told me this towel will wrap me. This thing cannot wrap my hair. But like, this is the big size towel that I bought for the baby shower. She used it like that. <laughs> so these are leggings. These are leggings. I really love this. this. This pink in front. Like the pink is pinking. And I've previously gotten some leggings that I will not show you guys right now. But like, this one, the last time we went to the market, we got this one. And yeah, this is the black I was saying we have to get. <laughs> Because we didn't know we had black. And then we didn't get any white in the market. But I previously got one white online. And then there's also one white leggings that came with the dress. The name is Emily dress I showed you guys. So that's two white leggings. That's more than enough. These ones are overalls. I didn't need to open them again. But like, I just realized that most of the things we ended up buying were cutters. Cutters, George, mamas, and papas. <laughs> so yeah, these ones are like overalls too. Because this is what the baby is going to wear for like the first, let's say, two weeks. Considering the fact that Nigerians don't like to open children's body when they are just born. <laughs> that's, that's the only reason why. They will not let you wear cute dresses for them. They tell you, cover the child's body. Cover the child, wrap the child. Because like people will come visit you and then people will keep carrying the baby. So you literally wrap, even if you wear a cute dress, you wrap the child. So yeah. I got a lot actually. There's a whole box here. Oh! Of overalls and leggings and all, but I'm not going to open these ones. I'm just going to show you guys this one's happening. Opening. 
career. I've been seeing this one. I don't know how to use it, but I've been seeing it on YouTube. I've been seeing white people using this. And um, I just felt like it was going to be extremely comfortable compared to the Chico one that I previously have, which is this one. This one, I used it for Jesse, but it, it always felt like Jesse was going to fall. So yeah, I couldn't continue. And then I got this black one for Jesse too. And I used that one a lot, but I don't think I know where it is. So I had to buy this. There's this. This is a new, this is old. This is one of the few things that I have from Jesse. And it's like a bag that has nets to like protect the child. When it's, it's not a bag, it's a bed, yeah. But it's like a bag bag that has nets that protects the child from mosquito and all. So if you want to put the child in Palo, you can use that. Let me show you guys very well. This is extremely affordable, I think. And this is a gift from my cousin. And I used it for just a little. But I got another one because well, <laughs> money they scratch, money they scratch my hand. So yeah, I got this one. Let me. I got this one. So this one comes in like, uh, is it four in one or five in one? Five in one. Five in one. This one you can put the baby to sleep in like a rocker. So this one rocks the baby. This you can also turn into a carrier. And just remove it and carry the baby, put the baby on the chair or something. It comes with nets so you can cover the baby as well. Um, there's this one, this one is literally a rocker, right? You straighten out the bed and it turns to a rocker. And you can rock the baby when you're busy or something. There's this one where you can remove the child and put this thing on the bed. So the child can sleep in this on the bed as well. Um, the child can sit in it. <laughs> And whatever, Sha is a five in one. And uh, yeah, this is the other one I bought instead of the one I used for Jesse. Because I just felt like this one was more cute and it was going to be more durable. So next, I bought this diaper bag. This is like extremely cute. I was looking for a very unique diaper bag, like the one I used for Jesse. But that one I didn't just use it as a diaper bag. I used it as a diaper bag, and every time I was going somewhere with him, I was using that to pack his load. I was using it to pack all his stuff mainland island anywhere even if we're traveling i kept using it so eventually the leather tore and yeah that's what happened to the bag but the bag was extremely cute and i looked for another leather bag i did not see when i was in the line the price no so <laughs> i ran into this chico while i was being um extremely picky i ran into this chico so I think it's a new brand. It's not the type that you you know you just see every mom carrying. Eventually, that's what it's going to turn into. But before it turned into that, I would have used it. I got it in this color cream, and I th I just think it's like extremely gorgeous and cute. <laughs> she said I should show you people. Let's sit. So yeah, let's sit. I was really confused if I should take this in a black in this color because I just felt like the black was mad but this color was this color was extremely giving can you see and it's a three in one so there's this small one there's the like what this is a tote bag and then there's the diaper bag itself I just like the semi kit here yeah? oh this one no and that bag it was one sharp object that caught it at first before you know it just started tearing and then that's how we lost it it was so painful. That little bag was giving. Laoni even liked carrying it because she now wears like a backpack and it was really cute. So yeah, I got this August Pure. So this is like an unscented diaper. That's um, <laughs> an unscented wipes and that's the reason why I picked it because it's unscented. So it doesn't give, you don't get rashes or anything like that from using it for your child. So like here, yeah, I got it, I mean it's in a pack. It's a pack of six and there's 56 pieces inside one pack. So I think this will last us a little. So I got this, um, what's it called? Carton of Ogier's diaper as well. I think it's foreign, right? Yes, it is. So it's a carton of diaper and there's 200 pieces in it. You can see right here. Oh, can you see it? 200 diaper. In case you did not see it, <laughs> sorry, but like here yeah, I got this carton, and I think this will last for maybe the first three months <laughs> or something, depending on how often we change the baby. We move, you can never buy everything. Um, we can't be too smart, that's just the thing. Because I know I was cheated in this market, 
a lot of time I'll leave one store and I'll walk into another store and I'll just be angry like yo so why why was it this price in this store and i bought it for here cheaper so when i walked into the market the first thing you know normally people don't want to um people don't want to buy things from the people outside because it's believed that the ones outside they are more expensive than the ones inside and going to a co market in case you don't know where to buy stuff it's a co market at dosumu for baby things yeah so going to the small there are some shops outside that you definitely obviously see and i walked into one of those shops to ask for the price of this this is a breast pump electric breast pump because when i used while i had just it was manual and i wanted the electric one this time around so yeah i walked into the store and they called this eleven thousand five, and i'm like why so then i thought it was expensive yeah then i went to the one inside and i bought this for fourteen thousand naira. And this was from the lady that I bought a lot of things. So it was either, maybe that one was one. That one was not one, it was exactly like this. I had to convince myself to buy it because I just didn't want to walk. Like I didn't want to stop while I was, I was just tired. So yeah, I felt cheated knowing that I had seen it somewhere like three, five cheaper. A bit two, five cheaper. Or like, yeah, this one is a breast pump. You probably won't need this for your second child if you had your first child because obviously you use breast pump. But I didn't want manual, I wanted electric. So there's this one. So this is like a warmer. Yeah, this is a warmer. And this one I bought when I was pregnant for Jesse. But I never used it. And I have lots of things like that that I got when I was pregnant for Jesse. You know when you have your first child, when you're about to have your first child, nobody can tell you anything. Nobody. You want to buy everything. They'll tell you, you won't use it. You'll be like, mm, let me not use it. So you literally want to buy everything. And I bought this then. I didn't use it. So maybe now I'm going to use it. So there's this. Hmm. Tommy Tippies, there's this Tommy Tippies sterilizer that I got as well. This one comes with um, feeder, um, feeding bottle and stuff like that. That's why you've seen that I've not brought out any feeding bottles because I know this comes with feeding bottles and I didn't need any more feeding bottles. I think it comes with too big and too small. And then it comes with, um, I think a warmer right or oh, i bought the woman separately i can't remember but like yeah that's why i have not really get any bottle because there are bottles in this already so i also got this but i would say this one is particularly for myself so this is like a nursing foam so you just wear it like around your um tummy and place your baby on it and just use it so this particular one i did not buy it when i had jesse and um, I just felt like I needed it this time around. I didn't buy it then, I don't know why I didn't buy it. Well, I survived. This time around, I was sure I needed it, so I got it. Next, I bought this Tommy TP nipple cream, right? Yeah, because trust me, <laughs> your nipple is going to be sore. I did not buy this while I was feeding Jesse as well. And I don't know why. And I always had injury. Like I was always so sad when it was time for me to breastfeed because I knew I was going to go through pain sometimes. And when your baby doesn't just know how to leech, they just and yeah, it just sores your nipple, yeah. So yeah, I got this one for that. There's of course this um what's it called? This is like the baby sets so. of Use this one to pump their nose. If they have catar, right? I never used it during Jesse's time. So this is like a thermometer. I use this one to check their temperature. Jesse's time, I never used it. No, I did. I used it once. I didn't use this one for something too. I don't know what exactly they use it for. This is the only thing that I know how to use because it's a nail cutter. So, <laughs> so this one I can use. And this one I didn't actually buy it. It came in a party pack that somebody that God bless put into Jesse's party pack in school. So yeah, I won't have to buy it. There's this I think for measurement of like drugs or something. I don't know. And anyway, this pack. 
do you need it to check your baby's temperature at night to cut their nails all those things i didn't buy this it came in just as fast as so yeah we got comb just use this type of comb too i think i'm not sure if it's exactly this type of comb. now that i'm looking at it then, <laughs> this is 500 thousand <laughs> What is this? How many things have I shown them? How is this 500,000? Yeah, we know the way the country is, but like, how is this 500k? We spent less. Eh? We spent less. We spent less, how? Like, people spend more than 500k. Why would anybody want to spend more than 500k? How much will you not pay for hospital bill? <laughs> the fact is that ordered online, here, changing from Naira to if, dollars, if like would have Jesse ended up putting it around the same price too. Spent more, you know that Jesse had what? Jesse has some of the things you are using. So what are the things that we collected from Jesse? And is, is it that plenty? I got this. Oh. <laughs> I got this baby anger. Because, well, Jesse's anger is already old. And he's still using it till now even. We use anger to see anger things till now. So I just feel like, well, maybe I just get another anger. I didn't need to use that one plus like that one is currently in my mom's place. I'll now have to bring it down here. It's broken already almost. But like here, yeah, you got this baby anger. And baby anger. Hmm. Baby anger is expensive. <laughs> we just didn't see anything is I was shocked. This market really shocked me. Because that first time I went to the market with 100 k I thought I would buy a lot. I was not prepared for what I got. So the next time I was going to the market, I went prepared. But I still was not prepared for some prizes because, like, tell me where I'll buy anger for what? 33,000? 35k? 35? She told us 35 last. Yeah, after persuading her, I bought the anger last, last, 35k. Because if I had gotten the ones that are like 11k and all, I was pretty sure it wouldn't have lasted. Jesse's one was really good, that's why it lasted three years plus. So, yeah, I got some other stuff that I would need for prepping myself. This is a breast milk bag storage bag because I pump a lot so I will put in storage I'll be storing the breast milk in this and then inside the fridge so in case you're wondering if I didn't get hand mittens I did get them there's this very cute pink one and that is like wool there's this one there's this white one that comes in a pack of three and there's this one too <laughs> so I feel like we don't really need this in Nigeria because like the weather is actually hot so i'm not really an advocate for it and then a lot of the um what's it called that i bought a lot of the overall that i bought you can just turn the hand in like this and then it end up ends up covering the hand of the child <laughs> do you get it and then there are some that jesse did not use that are there that she can also use so yeah these ones are these ones are just like cute um headbands that didn't come with you know clothes and all of that. The ones we bought separately. Just some headbands uh, that you use for babies. These ones are bibs. I didn't really buy much bibs because Jesse has bibs. <laughs> yeah, I didn't buy any cardigan because Jesse has some cute cardigans that he can pass down to his sister in case the weather is you know cold or like the ace is too much or something. But, like yeah, I think that's about it though. Hmm. What do you know? <laughs> There's also this cute sandal that I bought. I think this is the only thing that looks like a shoe or something that I bought because I realized that babies don't wear shoes. Babies don't wear shoes. All the shoes I bought for Jesse, it was either by the time I bought it, his leg was already even bigger. Like, he was a big baby, so his leg was bigger than the shoe. I don't go out. You probably won't go out for the first, you know, if, you, if you're not the type that probably has work to be at or something. I didn't go out. He didn't use the shoes. He outgrew them. I'm not buying shoes again. So I bought this one sandal, yeah, for one particular outfit. I can't even remember the outfit that I bought it for. But I know I bought it for one outfit. And that's about it. I didn't buy any more shoes or anything. So yeah, this right here is a half a million naira worth of <laughs> half a million naira worth of baby shopping. And uh, I would say I got a lot, but at the same time I feel like I did not get a lot because Yo, 500,000 Naira. I expect to see a full house. <laughs> I expect to see a full house because as things are expensive, that's how the value of money is also 
you know this is really hard to get 500k right now if i'm being honest so i don't know what to say again so obviously i had to buy the spirit and the cotton wool this you're gonna use to clean your baby's navel for a while before you know it drops off so yeah i needed this i found this bottle among jesse's old stuff and yeah it's one of the things that she rented for just so for um what's it called flannels the flannels are in the bag so i'm <laughs> i'm not bringing them out but they are there and they are plenty there's face to well there's flannel there's face to well again there's lots of onesies and um pin and um, um some other ball so there's obviously the usual um antiseptic dusting powder this one in every African home, I feel like everybody knows this thing. Everybody uses this thing. <laughs> it's like almost really compulsory. Everybody buys this. Or oh, I, I feel like everybody's mother. Mothers buy this. And all my nephews and my niece used this. So going to the market without my mom, I just knew I had to buy it. So I will not betray her. <laughs> and then there's this cream. So this one is the one you rub for like... It's like a diaper cream to prevent rashes and all of that for your baby and um, yeah I got an hospital list I got an hospital list for things that they wanted me to buy so when I'm um, doing my next video on um, what's my hospital bag I would use that list to then pack my hospital bag but that gave me an insight on some things to buy um, when it comes to mother care and all so I got this one for free from the first set of people that scammed me <laughs> The first of the food that I bought stuff from when I went to the market, they gave me this one for free. This one and like a, a what's it called pacifier. I can't find pacifier right now, but like I got this for free, and I got this for mother care. Right? So this is like a towel. This is a towel. It's, you literally lay this on the bed so that when your water breaks or if you're still bleeding and all, you don't stay in their bed this but like i don't bleed a lot my period all of those things i don't bleed a lot so the last time i bought this i only used like two of it or something but i still got it and also for this you need this they'll ask you to bring this um i only got like two or three of these because like i said i don't bleed a lot so yeah let's hope it goes the way it always goes else i'm going to have to buy more so these are the things that are like mother care that they ask you to bring in your hospital i got um nursing bra seeing um you know maternity gown and all of that i'm trying with my eyes to find it somewhere in the middle of this plenty mess but i cannot seem to you know find it so yeah i found this i packed them in here my nursing bra and underwear so they'll tell you to buy disposable underwear but like hey the disposable underwear does not pass my it it is so <laughs> i use normal traditional but big babasala pants this right here is like a finger brush that you used to just, you know, brush your baby's tongue from like three months or something. I got this. There's cotton board. Honestly, I don't know if we're supposed to clean baby ears. Or oh, this is for cleaning their abdomen. I don't know why we always buy cotton board, but we do buy cotton board when you have a baby. This is sablon. It is not as harsh as the Do you know I just realized this thing has expiry date, right? Okay, 2025. I didn't know it used to have expired it, but now I know. So yeah, I got this. I also got this hand glove. I don't know why. Maybe for changing diaper. I don't know who wears glove when they change diaper. Or you give it to people to wear before you carry your child with like sanitizer. <laughs> why are you laughing? I don't know why I bought it, but like I got it. I shall got it. I feel like I needed tattoo too, so I got it. Yeah. Um yeah this one after using spirit and um and cotton wool to clean your baby's navel you need this gel right and um yeah i got it this is silver bed this is like extremely good for cold weather i think they call it eucalyptus eucalyptus oil i went to school but this is silver bed sha that's the product and you use it for children oil their air the center of their air and all of that if you notice that babies always smell a bit minty this is why and um, there's this. This one, they forced it on me. Because if I'm being honest, I did not tell them I wanted this. They put it inside my bag and they collected money for it. So this is like a rope. 
literally like a rope that like you install inside the baby's nose if there's no call and press. Who's going to do that? Who's going to be that wicked? It's not me. It's supposed to be like a moko extractor that you chuck inside the child's nose and then you. But I can't do that, so this is a waste. Don't count this, but like I bought it because they put it inside my stuff. Yeah, so um, I think this is about all I got for baby stuff. Yeah, so for cream, the bath gel, the sponge. So sponge, yeah, the sponge that is said in Nigeria for babies are not truly for infants. So most of the time people end up using like towels and stuff like that to clean up their baby with like soap and all. But like sponge, soap, Vaseline and um, what's the last thing? The powder is somewhere. <laughs> Where did they put powder yesterday? I didn't buy the powder because it just had powder that was new. So I didn't have to buy powder. So that's maybe that's why I can't find it right now. But for soap, 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 sponge, and um, body cream, and those other air products, I'm going to have to get them from the supermarket. I didn't get them. I don't have them right now. Uh, I didn't have to buy them from the market, so I didn't buy them from the market. So I'm going to get those from the supermarket. But like, yeah, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video <laughs> of um, how Nigeria ate my million, my half a million. Any other thing that I did not show is probably because I probably already showed some of it and I don't need to show everything that I got. And um, yeah. Um, Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy watching it. So after this one, I'll be posting another video on um, what's in my hospital bag. And I might post a video on my aftercare, like the things I got for my aftercare, personally for the mother. Because it's not only the child that is going through look, Everything here is just baby, 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 baby. You know, sent it for me. So <laughs> I got some things for like my aftercare, like waist trainers and stuff like that. And I, there are some that I've had for a while too. So what I use for my aftercare, I'll probably be doing a video of that too. And then after that, I'll be doing uh, get updated, get to know me. So if you have any question that you would like to ask, you can just leave it in the comment section. And then so when I'm done with this pregnancy series, I can answer the, the next video I'm going to be posting is my updated get to know me. And then I can answer your question in that video. So like, yeah. Um, I'll see you guys in another video or vlog, but that's it for what I got for my baby. Um, yeah, bye.